Hi, this is Dr. Bob. I'm back for the second part of our educational series on AT02 as a monitoring tool for safe rapid sequence intubation, where we take a deeper look into rapid sequence intubation in the emergency department. Let us take our attention to a procedure commonly performed in the emergency department. This procedure is rapid sequence induction and intubation, also termed RSI, that typically uses a cocktail of intravenous medications to sedate a patient that requires intubation and mechanical ventilation. The RSI procedure is associated with risk, with desaturation occurring relatively frequently. One study illustrated the incidence to be in up to one third of RSI interventions. Desaturation can lead to other potentially devastating consequences, including hypoxemia and dysrhythmias. The respiratory monitoring of the patient undergoing RSI to date has leveraged pulse oximetry and entitled carbon dioxide monitoring. The measurement, however, of entitled oximetry is beginning to grow in clinical utility. Changes in ventilation are more quickly recognized via ETO2 monitoring compared to SpO2. Similarly, ETO2 changes during hypoventilation occur more quickly when compared to changes in end tidal CO2. Of note, guidelines published in the British Journal of Anesthesia now reference use of ETO2, when available, for intubations that are performed outside of the operating room. Central to safe RSI is the performance of pre-oxygenation. This provides the physician with a safety window during the apneic period of intubation, where desaturation and hypoxia is of greatest risk. Guidelines have recommended that pre-oxygenation should attain an ETO2 goal of greater than or equal to 85%. One study showed patients that experienced desaturation where the pulse oximetry fell below 90%, the majority, 78% to be precise, failed to attain this pre-oxygenation goal. The above evidence illustrates that ETO2 monitoring in the emergency department may be a valuable adjunct to optimize pre-oxygenation during RSI and potentially extend an additional layer of safety to the patient.